Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kogulos Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nixon Kogulos. I'm the founder and the director of the Kogulos Industry Spy Network and the Kogulos Nation. At the request of this user, whose name is on screen right now, I will be teaching you guys how to install Arc Survival Evolved using Linux and open source software. Now, there are four prerequisites you will need before going about this. Number one, you will need a Linux distribution. And that's actually pretty obvious. I'm using Linux Mint 20.3 Cinnamon. You will also need to grab yourself, oddly enough, Steam. No duh. You will also need the Proton BattleEye Runtime, which is a mouthful, but BattleEye is an anti-cheat that's usually anti-Linux. So this has been basically made into a runtime for Linux users, so they can install it and play multiplayer games that use BattleEye. This is the same with Easy Anti-Cheat, by the way, which is also anti-Linux due to compatibility layers, which is the same problem with BattleEye. And you will also need a version of Proton. The reason why you need Proton is because you will not be grabbing the Linux binaries of this game, as the Linux binaries will not, and I repeat, they will not work very well it will actually lead to horrible, horrible freezes. That being said, another side note, you will want to grab Proton Up QT, which is an app image. I will have it linked in the description below. And I will also be linking the PPA to App Image Launcher so you can have an easier time integrating the app images to your system. That being said, let's get straight into it. Assuming you already have the Proton installed, you'll want to be going into the Steam shop and searching for Arc Survival Evolved. And then you'll want to add it to the cart and then buy the game. This game is 30 USD at the time of recording, but this will be for the base game, which is what I recommend. I got all the other maps here because I wanted to be, well, obviously. Anyway, go into the library once you buy the game and then go into properties make sure you're using the Proton version that you will be forcing on into this game. I will recommend using Proton Glorious Egg Roll as it has the best compatibility with this game. Now, a couple of other things to keep in mind. Once you have the BattleEye Anti-Cheat installed, this is only required if you want to play multiplayer, but you'll still want to grab it regardless. And this game is 31 gigabytes in size. Well, 31 gigabytes for the base game. For the other seven DLC, once uncompressed and all that, once unzipped, that will be 328 gigabytes worth of data. And holy cow, is it insane. That being said, just let the game install, set it up how you like it. But I think this is a Linux Mint thing for me but you will need to reset the resolution every time you launch the game. You'll need to get into a habit of this. It will become a force of habit. Otherwise, the game will not work properly, even for the Windows version running using Proton Glorious Egg Roll. Now, another thing I would recommend you do in properties, you will want to use Wine3D, which is this flag, which will basically run the interpretation of Wine. Well, really just DX, yeah, DirectX 11. I think DirectX 11, I have no idea. Or you can use DX 10 too. Game mode run, this is if you have the Feral Interactive game mode, which I highly recommend you grab. And you'll want to look around and see how you get to Feral Interactive game mode. It's actually very simple to do. And Mango HUD is basically a game telemetry. It, it, it grabs the, at least the basic Mango HUD, grabs the data for GPU, CPU, and your DXVK frames. And you'll want to do this flag, which basically does this stuff before the game launches. And that should be it for how you do Arc on Linux. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this episode and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of five ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Coyotes Nation, Hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Kogos Nation. 
hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific time. You can also comment in all of our videos. All videos are open for comment. And last but not least, you can also share this channel with your family or friends. We also have a Revolt server, which will be linked in the description below if you are on a desktop. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you and good night.